people that are here on time. Yay, our 330 ladies. So welcome to having style, how to dress with ageless style. And I love, I want you to go away with some great tips that you can leave and use immediately, whether it's in your wardrobe, your closet, with color, and really just have fun with some of the fashion. I'm Annette Bond, and I'm the owner of Definitive Style by Annette Bond, and I help women to create a wardrobe that is effortless, classy, and confident. And I can help you, whether it's in your closet, helping you to create new outfits, or to edit some pieces of clothing that you probably aren't wearing. I also help you with color, to decide what are those colors that say wow when someone looks at you, and then also help you with personal shopping. So what I'm gonna be sharing is, I'm gonna be sharing 10 habits of a well-dressed woman. And the first habit is, is get out of the habit of thinking that you can't be stylish as you get older. And I know we're on the AARP stage, but it doesn't matter when you're 50, you're still fab, and you can still look awesome. And I want you to get in the habit of showcasing your personal best assets and your strengths at, and looking great at any age. So what I'd like you to think about when you leave here is sometimes we get really concerned on what doesn't look good on us or we look in the mirror and say, I don't like that doesn't look, I don't like that look. I want you to think, what are some of your strengths, whether it's your arms, and you may look great in some of the short sleeve, you're somebody who's working out, looks great in short sleeve. You might have great legs, and I'm not suggesting to go real mini, but even if you do a skirt right above the knee, it really does bring the focus to your legs, and it's a great look. Or it might be your waist. And I don't know if you've experimented much, actually, as I have on, is using some belts. And they've come out with a lot of nice thin belts that gives you a little bit more flexibility if you're not, if you have a shorter waist. So look at some of those features, your strengths that you feel good at, good about, instead of focusing on what's not good. The second habit is get out of the habit of criticizing and fixating on your perceived flaws and get into the habit of discovering clothes that naturally flatter your body type. And it kind of goes back to the first one, but I so often, when I am working with a gal and we go into the dressing room and she looks in the mirror and the first thing she says is, oh, I don't like that, I don't like that, it doesn't look good. Because you're fixating on, for example, if you maybe you carry your weight in your stomach or your, on your hips, what have you. So I'm gonna give you a couple um, ideas. Most women, and this is very general, but either carry their weight in their middle or they carry it in their hips. So if you're somebody who carries your weight in your hips, um, again, I'm get, being very generalized, not getting so specific with this, but you usually will have a little bit more of a waistline. So this is a great dress that can let you focus on your waist, but let the fabric, it's a nice fabric that flows over your hips. So if you tend to carry your weight in your hips. If you're somebody who tends to carry the weight in the middle, this will just naturally flow skim over your body, or the, your middle area. And a lot of times too, if you carry your weight in your middle, you'll have usually a little bit uh, smaller in your hips or your legs. So it's bringing the focus down there, but just skims your body type. So those are just a couple um, examples with that. Third tip is get out of the habit of buying random pieces and feeling bad because you never wear them. Get into the habit of shopping with a purpose and a list. How many times do you buy this incredible, whether it's a sweater or a jacket, and you go, oh my gosh, I gotta have this, and you get it home, 
and you have nothing to go with it. Does anybody, I see a few <laughs> smiling faces in the audience. A lot of times what's happening is we're not shopping on, we're shopping, I call it as eye candy versus shopping with a purpose. And so just a couple examples, what I have found with women is a lot of times you're missing some of the foundational pieces to go with that beautiful sweater or that beautiful jacket. So this is a pair of trouser pants. And this is a pair of, it's a, a ponte knit. I don't know if any of you are familiar with that. It's got a little bit more of a narrow, slimmer fit. And I have found that just even with a pair of basic black pants, sometimes we need two or three different styles to go with that jacket or to go with that top or sweater. So look in your closet and look at some of your foundational pieces, whether it's skirts, pants, um, basic blouses that can go with some of that, as I'm calling it, eye candy that has a little bit more ornate, fancy kind of detail to it. Does that make sense? The fourth tip is get out of the habit of settling for bargains or past season discounted clothes and get into the habit of paying full price for something that you love and will wear often. I am not saying not to buy sale. Don't we all love a great sale? But what I want you to think about is to buy clothes that fit you well and you feel amazing in versus buying clothes just because it's on sale. I'll give you a little example. How many of us, we love shopping around Target? I was in there a week or two ago and I found this great pair of jeans. It was this beautiful purple periwinkle color. They were $13 and it's like, oh my gosh, we gotta have that, right? So I brought them home, put them on, and for some reason, they just weren't fitting like I wanted them to fit. And I tried them on a couple times versus, for example, this pair of pants right here are $98. But I want to ask you, how often would you wear a pair of black pants? Just kind of throw it out. Maybe, someone said every day, twice a week. So we'll go minimal. If you wore them, would you wear them twice a week? A great pair of black pants. So if you wore those twice a week, for a year, you've worn them 96 times. So the investment, return on investment on these pants is you wore them 96 times, it's cost you a dollar to wear them. So how many times, I'm talking about my purple Target pants, we might wear them a couple times, we think, oh, these were cool, and then we kind of put them away because they just don't fit quite right. So that means every time I wore those pants, they cost me $6.50. So think about some of the pieces that you buy, and I know we have all these pieces that kind of just sit in our closet and we don't wear. I see a few heads with that. Tip number five, get out of the habit of throwing on the same thing day after day. Get into the habit of taking time to create new outfits in your wardrobe and get more use out of what you already have. Again, this is just from working with a lot of women. I get to find out what your habits are like. And sometimes we tend to buy the same thing, the same look over and over. So one of the suggestions here is I know we have, for example, this white cotton blouse. And we look at it on the rack and it's just kind of boring, isn't it? Like, oh, what do I want a white cotton blouse? Well, look what I did to it. I did this gorgeous scarf and it just added that instant pizzazz. Back to why we're sitting, we're standing here. I'm gonna show you how to, do I know how to tie this? So what I did, and this is an oblong scarf. Oops. I'm gonna fold it in half. And this is called the pretzel is what I'm gonna show you. So we're gonna fold it in half, put it around your neck. We're gonna put one in, one through here. Then we're gonna take the other one and we're actually gonna kinda of go on top of it. And what you do is you just kinda of 
fuss with it. You can pull it down if you want it to be closer to your face. I know I got all the tags. Just um, so that you know too, all these clothes are all from Ann Taylor in Bellevue. That's why the tags are all still on. And you can fluff it up or you can make it come down a little bit further too. One of the suggestions I have with scarves is I have a lot of women who will say, I don't know what to do with my scarves. Does anybody feel like that? Is what I'm going to suggest is be more conscious of the fabrics and the colors of the pattern versus how you tie them. Get a couple great knots or different ways that you can tie them, but go more for the color and the, the what inspires you, what you want to wear. Another little tip too, online right now on Nordstrom's.com, they have a great video and it's 16 ways to tie a scarf. So go and kind of have fun and look at what they're doing. They're, they also show different um, shapes of scarves. You might also have had maybe a sweater in your closet that maybe you got it last year, is, is putting a statement necklace with it is just adding that little bit more pizzazz. Number six is get out of the habit of adding new items in your already overstuffed closet and get into the habit of having a well-edited closet by eliminating pieces that aren't working for you. So one of my suggestions is to go through your closet before, actually before you go through your closet, is when I start working with clients, I have them talk about six words that describes what is it that story that you want to tell with your clothes. Because whether you think it or not, we're judged right in about five to 30 seconds about what we're wearing. So I'd like for you to leave here with maybe three words thinking, what is, am I looking, I want to look up to date? Do I want to look simple? Do I want to look stylish? Do I want fun? Do I want outdoorsy? There's no right or wrong. It's whatever fits you. And so as you're going through your closet, do those pieces fit with that look that you're trying to create? I actually had a woman yesterday after I'd given um, this seminar that came over and was asking, she says, I have this great skirt I love this skirt, but I never wear it. So if you have something in your closet that you do love, and maybe you've had it for five or 10 years, is start looking in your closet and saying, how can I mix and match this? And it might be even a beautiful scarf that you never even thought of putting with it. Or it might be a printed blouse or a sweater of some sort. So that'll help you. Number seven is get out of the habit of running out of, uh, excuse me, get out of the habit of running out the door without your makeup on. Get into the habit of scheduling enough time to put your best face forward. As we get older, it is normal that your skin starts to become uneven. It becomes a little blotchy. That's so normal as we get older. So foundation, I feel, is really that gives you that polished look. And then so you have that full look versus just this great outfit and you've done nothing to your face. So they've done a lot with foundations these days with a great mineral powder to a luminous foundation. So find something that matches your skin tone, that it looks natural, but really gives you those finishing, that finishing touch. Number eight is get out of the habit of being envious about what others are wearing and get into the habit of studying well-dressed women and trying new style trends. How many times do we see a woman and we go, oh, she's a size four, I could never wear that. Or she's so, you know, has that look, I could never wear that. What I want to suggest is go into the dressing room and just start experimenting. Like for example, you know, with the statement necklace, there's so many beautiful pieces. I mean, I just, when I was walking through here, all the jewelry that's here. And that can change your outfit in an instant. 
here's another um, scarf, and you know, there's a lot of silk scarves. There's more of a cottony scarf, and this is a total different look than the one you have here. Also, floral is a big influence uh, for spring 2013. You might have just a basic classic black blazer. You might have a sweater. So something just as simple as a piece of floral, whether it's in a skirt, whether it's in a top, a sweater, a scarf, and add that little piece of style, newness, to your already existing classic items. In fact, on your chair here, I do have, um, that you probably set on, that's for you to take home, but I have a whole list of what's, what is happening for spring 2013. So it's not that you need to dress and head to toe trend, but add maybe one piece, and it helps you to feel that more updated, especially as we get older. I know I hear women say, I don't want to dress like my daughter, but I don't want to feel old either. What was that? The, all the clothes are from Ann Taylor. Yep. The ninth tip is get out of the habit of putting on clothes that you sort of like and get into the habit of enjoying the clothes that you have and loving how you feel. And that's one of my personal philosophies is I truly encourage my clients, I take on that philosophy myself, is not to buy something unless you absolutely love it. And you know, nothing feels better than walking into your closet and pulling out something that you love. Don't you remember, I think of like the first day of school or you get something new and it just feels fresh and you can't wait to wear it is I want you to feel like that with all your clothes. And ladies, you might go shopping and you think, oh, I can't find anything. Stores actually turn over their clothes about every three to four to five weeks and they have brand new clothes. So they're jam packed. If you can't find something today, I guarantee you, you might find something in a month or so. So just start thinking about that so that you have what I call a shopping closet and every time you walk into your closet everything feels wonderful. And then tip number 10 is get out of the habit of feeling stuck and get into the habit of feeling that you can call me to help you whether it's with your closet, whether it's with color, or whether it's with personal shopping. I would love to be of assistance with that. Um, I'm going to take some questions in just one minute, but before I forget, up on stage, I have some catalogs that are from Ann Taylor with coupons, and I also offer workshops, and I actually have a workshop coming up on March 17th, and then I'm going to be doing a couple other mini workshops in Ann Taylor's store and also at Nordstrom. So if you're interested in just getting on my mailing list to kind of keep connected with that, in your little packet there, there's um, a card to give that. You can give me that information here. You're welcome to go over to my booth, which is in on, let's see, two aisles over 318. So with that, do I have any questions I'd love to answer? Yes. I'm going to let you. Thank you. Thank you. I have a question on the alterations. Is that my clothes I bought? Can you guys hear her? Can you all talk, hear talk, me? Yeah, talk a little okay. louder. Talk a little louder. Now, some of the clothes, either existing clothes or new clothes, it's too long or too old. So is any alteration tips, is any vendor that you can recommend for me to get my existing wardrobe or new wardrobe to get altered to fit okay. the style? Thank you. I love, um, that is a great question, is so many women do not take advantage of alterations. Is We walk into the store and we expect to have that pair of pants fit us perfect and 99% of the time, especially pants, do not fit women. So my biggest recommendation for you, 
would be to find an alterations person, and I personally do have somebody I work with, or whether it's the department stores, to take in whether it's your pants, as you were asking me about the length, you know, especially if you're shorter, is our skirts used to go below our knee. And sometimes when you're, I will tell you when you're shorter, if you have them right above the knee, it shows your leg. It makes you look probably three to four inches taller. Another thing that's happened if you have a lot of clothes in your closet from the last four or five years, you've seen that styles have actually gotten slimmer. And believe it or not, they actually make you look slimmer instead of if, you, if you're a little overweight, you tend to you want to wear bigger clothes, it actually makes you look bigger than clothes that are fitted. What's also happened is sleeves and jackets have also gotten more narrow over the last five years or so. So kind of look at what, you're, what you have. If you have some great classic pieces, alterations can really help that. Any, anybody else have any questions? I have my husband assisting me here. <laughs> Do you go into people's homes and help them help them pull out clothes that are no more that they need and help them keep the clothes that they should keep in their closets? I absolutely do, yes. So when I talked about closets, is I do go in helping you to decide what should I keep, what shouldn't I keep. I'm very objective and sometimes it's hard when you get very, like I can't let go of that. It meant something to me 10 years ago. That's absolutely what I do. I also help you to create outfits that are already in your closet. And I guarantee you every single client I've worked with, I've created at least 10 to 30 new outfits in their closet that you didn't even know you had. So it's kind of coming in with a fresh pair of eyes and saying, this looks great with this. You can do, you know, lots of different mixing and matching. And how many hours does that take to do that? What's the price range? Um, my, uh, my mind going like here. My closet package is four fifty, and it's it, that whole process is that comes with that. It's, it's about three and a half to four hours in your closet. Then what I also do is I put together a lookbook of all those new outfits that we created in your closet. So you usually come away, well, you do come away with, as I said, 10 to 30 at least new outfits. So, and I also do have a show special that's just, it's um, for three hours, it's $1.99. So if you want to take advantage of that, that's a great option. for coming. I'll hang around here so if you have further questions um, I'll be here to answer them and then also if you want to come up and get any brochures or anything about the workshop feel free to do that also. Thank you. Afternoon, show, but, yeah, but no, she she does very.